Alright guys, so welcome to another unboxing video. In this unboxing video, I'll be unboxing the ASUS Radeon R9 290 graphics card with the Direct CU2 cooler and it is 20% cooler apparently and it's three times more quiet than the stock original cooler. Uh, the thing I will say about this card, because I've seen many tests of it, uh, the fans on the car doesn't even ramp up if you're running in normal uh, room temperatures, even what, even what kind of load is on because uh, of course, all of the R9 290s are, has a cap on 95 degrees Celsius and then it actually spins up the fans but never hits 95 degrees Celsius in normal conditions. And it well went the ventilated case, so that's an awesome, awesome choice if you want to looking for an R9 290 that runs quiet and looks awesome. So, um, yeah, the, the box has already been opened but it's a pretty straightforward uh, everything and it has some some uh, things about the direct CU2 cooler uh, uses 10 millimeter copper heat pipes and two fans, uh, which I believe at 100 millimeters, and uh, it has a 10 phase power design, which is pretty decent. 30% uh, less power noise and two two and a half times longer durability, which is cool because most AMD cards are already pretty durable, so that's pretty good. GPU tweak. Uh, it's Asus own tweaking software. It's pretty much the exact same thing as MSI Afterburner. It's based on the same thing. So um, I believe it runs actually by Reba Tuner. I believe it's the same thing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I should just you know, explain some outputs and inputs, but I will show you that when I get open the box. So open the box. It actually has a seal. Actually, all the boxes has this little seal here. Have to rip open and. Uh, Take the whole, the box which is inside the box out of the box. So the box itself, which is inside down the box, has a gold-plated ASUS logo here, which says ASUS in search of incredible. Well, they found it, that's for sure. Open it up. A little piece of foam here, just to protect this thing. And what this thing is is it's here. This thing has on the inside of it. Uh, a um, two six pin to eight pin power supply connected thingy, which I actually don't really know why they use this kind of uh, this kind of uh, power uh, converter or power wire converters or whatever you want to call them, just because um, the only thing the eight pin connector has on it is two extra ground wires. So yeah, I don't know. Um, the installation uh, CD for the uh, GPU tweak software uh, and AMD Catalyst software. I wouldn't recommend using these. I would recommend downloading the latest of AMD's website because your graphics card would work without them uh, just for finding drivers. So here is also a speed setup. So you can have some um, graphics card speed up, uh, card installation, display devices driver installation, it's pretty straightforward, it's really simple. And AMD cards are actually real simple to install drivers for, so very very easy to navigate the website as well, so that's good. So the graphics card itself, it's in, in this anti-static plastic bag here, and the thing is, this card compared to the stock reference R9290 is that this thing is massive compared to the old one. Um, this thing is humongous uh, to be R9290. Uh, it doesn't look like a camera, but it is really, really, really big. Uh, the thing that makes it actually big is the massive and massive cooler, which actually extends off the P uh, off here, of the bracket here, which actually extends another uh, couple of centimeters up, which is just mind blowing because the normal R9290 it has here. And uh, that's pretty much the, t the tallest you can get. It's pretty slim all the way. And as you can see, also the fan, and uh, this is a custom PCB as well. The PCB is also, also different. It's extended upwards, it's a bit longer, and it's simply very, very incredible uh, piece of work ASUS has done to this. Uh, the ASUS writing here in DirectCU2 is written the right way, so when you install it in the case, you will see this. Uh, and it also has a piece of plastic over the aluminum here, which, which you should take off when you install it in your in the computer. This uh, particular component is for a it's for a client computer. I'm building or 
it's for a customer's computer. And um, and that, the reason I went for the R9 290 from ASUS is simply because of the cooling and uh, uh, and uh, the performance you get out of it. For the price you pay for this card, it's just incredible because you know R9 290s they are excellent price to performance uh, cards. And I I wonder if something to run it's quiet because it also had it has a NZXT I believe it's called the H440 or something like that. Uh, which is a noise damp the dampening uh, case, um, the kind of like the practical design defined R4, but um, this other design doesn't have an optical drive and stuff, so it's it's white and has an excellent window, has an NZXT writing inside, and um, it's already noise damp dampened. So what do, for what better to go with a low noise graphics card as well? So that's why I ch chose it. Um, it the, the, the shroud on top here is actually uh, it's metal. The shroud on top is metal, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the fans are of course plastic, and the massive, massive heat sink is made out of, out of aluminum and copper heat pipes. There is a massive 10 millimeter heat pipe there. That is huge, um, and it goes from the copper. Or the uh, core and transferring a little taller over to this part of the heat sink here and has a more heat pipes going on here to transfer the heat out away from the GPU which is awesome uh, of course it has some uh, protective thing is here to protect the PCI slot and stuff from when you pick up the card like this it has it actually has some plastic on the back so I can pick it up like this uh, you, we, I wouldn't recommend picking it up like this if it doesn't have a back plate uh, also, the back here has a couple of covers on the DVI ports. Uh, talking about ports, it has a couple of DVI ports. None of these can run uh, uh, analog display output. It only has digital, so you don't have the extra four pins in the connection here for running VGA. Uh, it also has a HDMI out and a full-size display port out. So no two dual mini display ports or anything. This is a full-size port. So uh, bear in mind that. Um, the thing, the card has a couple of LEDs here. Um, here's here's uh, some LEDs. The thing is with these LEDs, it will tell you if the power connectors are actually giving the right amount of current and power. That's what the, those LEDs are for. There are also voltage checkpoints right here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So you can monitor. Let's see here. Memory voltage, I believe, and some other stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Asus, this is a performance and enthusiast graded uh, component, so it's made to be reliable and always work and never break down. So that's why also I chose it because I wanted a computer that will run for years. Of course, if you clean it for dust and stuff, because I never had any issues with AMD cards shorting out under normal uh, usage usage conditions and my warranty for the computer I built is uh, not covering overclocking and stuff so if the customer decides to overclock uh, it will warrant the warranty so um, that's that's the kind of thing I run because uh, then it's kind of their fault because overclock is never is never guaranteed to work but this thing is already a very, very good performer uh, when I talk about overclocking I mean do not push the voltage too high in the card. Uh, you can of course slide use the slider in the catalyst, uh, catalyst control center because those ones are pretty uh, pretty safe. Um, and uh, control the fan speeds and stuff because the fan will automatically and the, or the card will automatic, automatically throttle the performance if it gets too hot. So, but this thing wouldn't have any problems like that if it runs dust free. So. That's awesome. It has two weird fans here. Uh, this looks kind of normal with the kind of a jet a jet um, engine look of the blades because it has so many blades on it, which are stacked pretty um, pretty close together. And with spin at just this speed here, there is a lot of air coming out of the side, so it's a very very good fan when it comes to airflow. This thing is made, however, is made a bit different. The thing with this fan is that this fan also not only pushes air down but also out to the sides because the fan blades are designed like that so that's pretty cool I can get a close up of that you can see here. so there you can see how the fan blades are designed so when you spin the fan blades it will also push air out to the sides so that's pretty cool 
Um, it's a very good. Ah, oh, damn, this tripod is shit. There you go. It's a very good design, and I've heard it in action, so it's really quiet. So that's a great thing. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. This unboxing video of the R9 290 from ASUS, the Direct CU201. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, favorite, like, everything that you can possibly want to do. Uh, post a comment if you have any questions. And um, yeah, see you guys in another, another video.